Hello there, survivors, and welcome back to another video in Ark Survival Ascended. Today, I've built something from Jurassic World, because believe it or not, I'd actually not seen the movies. I think I might have seen Jurassic Park movie, one of them at least, when I was very, very young, but I remembered pretty much nothing. So I've rewatched watched all of the movies and, of course, got inspired to build something from them, starting with this raptor paddock from jurassic world and i think it turned out pretty nice indeed so let me know if you would like to see a full step-by-step -step tutorial for this base because i think it would be a nice addition to any base no matter what and of course it's called the raptor panel paddock like it is in the movie but you can easily fit any dino in here that can fit through the normal dino gate and you could even scale this up, make it bigger, maybe even make it big enough to have a behemoth gate so even more chains can fit inside. But for now, let's take a look around this whole build. I want to start here on this side of the build because this is quite a familiar sight from the movie. This is the little cage that they are in and they have these little windows to check on the raptors. As you can see right here, we've got the exact same. Um, so yeah, the cage is made out of railings, quite like the way that all turned out. And then you've got a little way to get up here, which is a platform that you could use for some crafting. You could have maybe some of your storage here if you wanted to expand this, maybe make kibble here. I don't know what you want to do, but you have some room here. For me, I just have a generator and a teleporter to connect with my other bases. And then I've got a window here using ASR, so Architect Structures Remastered. But you could also use greenhouse glass or maybe skin it with the clean or clear glass uh, custom cosmetic that wildcard made themselves so you can actually properly see into the pen as well you could also just use the railings for this part but then it's a little bit harder of course to look into the pen uh, and as you can see yeah it's quite a spacious pen there's some raptors already running around and this thing brings luck as well because the first raptors that are bred and hatched eggs of they all got mutations so we got some funky colors in there and um yeah then you got of course the whole walkway so you can go onto the walkway right here which goes all around the paddock of course so you can just walk all the way around there's uh, some stairs on different sides you can of course add more if you want to and then if you really want to be movie accurate this where i'm right now would be an ex exit i guess or basically just an arch into the rest of the park but of course we don't really have use for that right here or at your base but if you wanted to of course you could do that and then we got this walkway up here now this turned out pretty nice if i say so myself i really like the way this turned out there is however a little bit of overlapping going on to make it all fit because the way arc works and the way triangle works is just that they don't quite line up perfectly and makes for some awkward gaps that i had to overlap some structures for so that would be the only part i think where you would maybe struggle in official but in the worst case you could leave out this walkway over the top or just make it go from one side to the other side as far as you can and hopefully that won't overlap too much um yeah but i do really like the way this turned out you can see a bunch of air conditionings in the wall those are just meant to be kind of like air ventilations that you see in the wall just as a way to detail i don't think it would actually do very much in this case because they're quite high up but it's just a way to actually add some decoration and detail into it which is otherwise a little bit more difficult to do but yeah, I do really like the way it turned out and the way it looks. Try to keep as many plants alive inside as possible. Of course, you could go around with your shovel and plant pots from the Bob Tall Tales DLC to get more plants in there if you miss them. And then here, again, we got another staircase all the way down. And then here on the side is the main entrance that you could use with your tame. So a little ramp up to the gate there. But of course... These raptors are dangerous, so we don't want to let them out, of course. We've, we've watched the movies, we know how dangerous it can be. So let's go into the cage, which of course has a nice door. This is also using the skin from the Frontier Pack from Bob Tall Tales DLC. And here you can see all these little raptors sticking their heads out. So these two right here were the first two raptors that I tamed. 
Um, so they both have a little bit of a bluish color. This one a little bit less. This one very, very, very bright, as you can see. Um, and then these are the two that I got from him. Um, a lot more blue there. And they all, they both mutated, I think, into some spunky colors. This one especially, you can see there's a lot of the lighter blue now in there, which is quite exciting, of course. I like that a lot. And I think actually I probably should... Get rid of a few more plants here that are growing through my build. But um, yeah, I like this little cage. If you're using this as a base, this would be another place, I guess, where you could keep some of your stuff. Or maybe have some smaller tames in here. Maybe uh, some of your dodos. If you want to actually make this maybe into a, a kibble farm, which could very well work. Or just your shoulder pads or anything that you can easily take in and out. Uh, because obviously you can't really... Uh, fit anything bigger through this door which yeah, i really like the cage look design of this place and then you've got a little access way here to get into the hatching and breeding box basically so here we got the raptors sticking their heads through the window i've got an ov raptor here because these two are currently still breeding hoping for more beautiful raptors for my park and then of course you have plenty of space to have more tames in here if you want to really do anything and then this is a healthy feed feeding trough from a mod so that it looks a little bit nicer but the normal one would suffice as well and uh, yeah other than that it's quite a simple design it's just like uh, a nice room but you can also hatch eggs in here because of all the air conditioning in the walls we can hatch eggs here um just need to turn this guy off of course otherwise you'll pick them straight up yeah i really like the way that um this is kind of like the movie accurate uh, building but it's still functional as well because we have this little breeding and hatching room which is quite nice and then of course we've got the paddock and the pen itself which oops let's close that is uh quite nice and looks quite a bit like the way you see it in the movie which i love and again i've had these air conditionings there as a little bit of details up there then we got the main gate to leave there and then just a nice sizable dino pen where you can keep basically anything that fits through at a gate to be honest you could definitely fit things bigger than raptors here of course now they're just on wandering because that looks a little bit nicer but if you don't do that you can definitely fit a decent amount of dinos in here and yeah just have this next to your base if you want a nice organized dino pen for your tames to be stored safely and in a cool looking place as well so yeah here we can see some of the first bred up raptors and this one especially came out quite cool with the funky new blue color in there and the darker blue still there as well so yeah these are just now walking around enjoying their little paddock and then i think there's a, a second ov raptor that is also just walking around because i think once once they they start walking around they start breeding so there is chances of eggs spawning so that's why this guy is here as well and just walking around but you can see there's pretty much enough space for a decent amount of tames inside because yeah it's, a, it's quite a sizable build and i think it should be relatively easy to scale up this build a little bit if you add a few here you add a few there you should quite easily be able to expand this base a little bit more and make it into a bigger pen if you need even more space but i think already on this size it's quite doable and uh, fits quite a lot of things in there. But yeah, again, if you want to see a full build tutorial step by step, let me know in the comments down below and I will be doing one pretty soon because I quite like the way this design turned out, to be honest. I wasn't expecting much, um, but I felt inspired after seeing all the movies and I felt like it was a very appropriate design to be inspired by and to build. And uh, I feel like a good dino pen is always very useful, no matter what kind of base you build next to it it's just a, a cool addition to anything and i think this definitely does the trick for that if you want something that looks nice and is still pretty functional as well yeah i love the look of this and yeah i'm gonna just let them wander around in here because yeah looks a little bit more active i wish arc dinos had more idle animations so even if they're standing still they sometimes do more movements or do things or maybe sit down if they're tired and they're not doing anything else you know that would be really nice to make them feel a little bit more alive i guess the only way to do that right now is to just have them walking around because then at least 
they're still interacting a little bit more with the world instead of just you know standing still and not doing much else but yeah that is uh, this entire base i'm quite happy with the way it turned out i really love the look of this especially this part is isn't it nice the way it was able to actually make it look pretty close to what you see in the movie which is always exciting and then of course uh, yeah you have a pretty sizable pen and i think this would fit in with any base of course you could change the materials if you want to make it uh blend more in with maybe your stone or wood base you could easily change the materials out but even for a modern base this of course with the metal would work really really well indeed anyway that's going to be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hopefully i'll see you in the next one goodbye